In an apartheid state, there is a complete racial segregation that manifests in every area of life, including sports. Get this, during apartheid in South Africa, black players could not play for the local team. Even worse, black players could not play on South African soil. For example, the New Zealand rugby team came to play against South Africa, and in their squad there was a black player who was not allowed to enter the country and play. And now we come to Israel, the same country that certain organizations define as an apartheid state against Arabs. So is it true? Let's look at Israeli sports. In Israeli football teams, Jewish and Arab players play together and also against each other. In the national team, the former captain is a Muslim, Bibras Nadcho. Arab players also play in Israel's youth team, which recently reached the semi-finals of the World Cup. And the team's top scorer is Anan Khalaili, an Israeli Arab. In the Israeli Premier League, there are two teams from the Arab towns of Sakhnin and Reini. Ibn Sakhnin also previously won the Israeli Cup. By the way, it's not only Arab players. There are also Arab referees, such as Nael Audi and Ahmad Zawbi. And it's not just football. Israel kickboxing team, which brings honor and pride to Israel with medals in competition around the world, is made up of Arab fighters alongside Jews, with the team being coached by an Israeli Arab, Peter Sakas. By the way, the chairman of the kickboxing association in Israel is also an Israeli Arab. And speaking of martial arts, let's talk karate. Hala Mahli from Nazareth is the Israeli champion in karate. And before her was Israeli Arab champion Luis Afara, who won the title of Israeli champion seven years in a row. Hani Nasser, another Israeli Arab, won the title of Israeli high jump champion twice. And if we go to beach soccer, then the Arab team Falfal Akfar Qasim not only won the championship in Israel, but also the European Championship. Israeli Arabs are also dominant and influential in Paralympic sports. Take for example the Israeli swimming team. Iyad Chalabi from Shfa'amr, Paralympic champion in the 50 meter backstroke and 100 meter backstroke and world record holder in the 100 meter individual medley. Unbelievable. This is only a short list. But in short, the Arab Israeli athletes prove that the state of Israel is not an apartheid and that anyone in the country can succeed and achieve sporting achievements regardless of religion or race. That's how it is in Israel.